So Chloe told me that uh, we had a little bit of a iron change. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen a little bit of a discrepancy between the pitching wedge and gap wedge. Yeah. Well, it's it's All right. I want to see you hit your pitching wedge first. Cool. We're going to get a nice cool number on it. And then we're going to hit the gap wedge to see what the gapping between them are now. How was that one, Bronny? That was it? Good launch. Okay, 115. That's good. What was really cool just now, we were just able to stop by with Bronny to try and help her kind of fill a gap between her pitching wedge and her gap wedge. So she just got into the brand new T-Series irons. And so by going into the pitching wedge with the T-Series, we needed to match up her current wedges to what her current iron gamers were. It's a stepless shaft, so it's going to feel firmer in the tip which is going to drop flight yeah. a little bit, but still maintain spin, yeah. which a lot of times when you throw it into a green, it's gonna rip back. Yeah. With her current gap wedge, she was hitting the number she wanted, but the ball was spinning back off the green. She was getting too much spin. And so in order to be able to mitigate spin, sometimes we have to manipulate loft and also manipulate bounce. And so by doing that, we were able to make her gap wedge one degree strong to kind of fill the gap between her T-series pitching wedge and her Vokey gap wedge. All right, let's, uh, it's the gap wedge. So this is now at 49 degrees. So we've taken a degree of bounce off, which will help a little bit, I think, deviate some of that spin, that max spin that we've been getting. Yeah, you stepped on that one. That was good. 105. Yeah, yeah I think we found it. So it's just a degree? Yeah, it's just a degree stronger. Yeah. And then we've also taken a little bit of bounce away, yeah. which is also going to drop that spin rate just a tad. And it has. It's dropped it it's about 200 launching. rpm and it's still and it's still it's still launching at 25 26 which is right where you want it to be which is great and you're not going to see that ball yeah jump back which is right where we want it yeah that's that's the best one you've hit by far i think i just feel like it's so much lighter when i put that other shaft like mm -hmm. it just I almost don't know where, like, I can't feel, can't feel where the head's at. Yeah. Good, good test for us to see as well, just yeah. difference in flight of what yeah. they both do uh, and with the weight factor. So it's, it's good for us just to check that it was yeah. the right UR and the right yeah. option, more the sure. peace of mind than anything. Yeah, Wedge lengths are short. They don't bow as much. Okay. And so when you go with a softer shaft in the tip, that head will want to deflect down, going down. And sometimes that'll take speed off the ball and it also takes spin off as well sometimes. But with your case, it was actually adding spin and it was launching it higher, which means it wasn't carrying as far. So sometimes players have to come out here and they have to mitigate the distances between their current gamer setup in their irons and their current gamer setup in their wedges. And so we want to try and fill that gap between the loft from their pitching wedge all the way to their gap wedge. And we'd like to see anywhere between four to six degrees of loft. Sometimes six is too much, and so we like to dial it back. And what we did with Bronny was we took her gap wedge from 50 to 49. We shortened that gap between her pitching wedge and her gap wedge. She was able to hit her number. We dropped her spin down to where she was comfortable, and that way her pitching wedge, her gap wedge, and sand wedge are all going to match up in terms of spec. We're in the perfect position right now, and I think going forward this is where you need to be, especially now that... The pitching wedge is going to match up well with the gap wedge, and then it's going to match up well under the sand wedge, too. And now you won't have the ball ripping back. Yeah. So it's like, it's like we killed two birds with one stone. So, perfect. You got it, Bronny. It was awesome.